G'day, was it here? Okay, so uh, previous video we just touched on the base that it rains and we use a chamois and give it a quick wipe off. So we've come in the next day to work in the rain, wet weather gears off, clean chamois because I washed it. First thing you want to do is your helmet. When you're riding in the rain, uh, the visors are really good uh, for the rain. Um, the best way to clean them when it's a bit sludgy is one finger only. So you just do one finger only with your glove while you're riding. That's the simplest way just to keep your glass relatively clean. Okay, so we discussed top first. Give your bike a quick chamois off before work, before you're doing whatever you're doing. Give it a start up then. Just see if you can, after you've dried it, just give it a quick start up to see if you can run the brakes and warm it up again. I leave my chamois with a bit of water in it. I leave my chamois with a bit of water in it just uh, in case it's dirty but got no um, water on it from the rain. So your first half of your journey. So, as you can see, the chamois just tidies it up. I'll speed up the video now. Oh, yesterday I tried to do a video and show you this wipe down. I sprayed a bit of um, silicon spray or CRC or whatever you want just in my switches. Silicon spray, I sprayed. Just to, um, just to keep them lubricated. So you can see, if your engine's a bit hot, don't go rubbing your chamois over hot stuff. So I picked up a bit of sand then, and I probably hadn't quite done the back. You can just rub it on your seat and see how much sand you got. See the little bit there? You don't want to be doing good chrome work with that. That's why you do all your top half first and all your important stuff first with the chamois. can get a um, 
I just use my um, air blower, blows up leaves and that. I just use that to get rid of any sand and debris that's in the engine or around. Clean and tidy and ready. I do have a polished rag on me somewhere. Um, and of course the old snozzer rag. And there it is, you wouldn't think it had been in the rain. I'll take it for just a quick spin now, just to clear the brakes and rewarm it. Bob's your uncle, cheers. Go, mate. All right, so today I've done a full polish, even though it's going to pour down rain tomorrow. She looks brand new again, ready for more rain. <laughs> so, on the engine, yes, I've used a little bit of silicon spray. On the flat vinyl, I've used vinyl rejuvenator, WD, just around the engine and just in those areas there. Cleaning wax, or any polish will do, on the actual paintwork. Silicon, just in the little mechanisms, car polish, cloth, to wipe it over. So I actually don't shampoo this bike at all, haven't yet. Alright, haven't shampooed it at all yet. Blow it off first, so I got my blower. Um, yeah, I think I've got a little video of that anyway. Blew it off first, uh, shammed it off. Sprayed the engine with uh, a little bit of WD-40 and just a couple little bits and pieces. You'll see a little bit on there. Oiled the chain with my little oil can. I just rolled it forward and I just rolled it forward and just stuck a little bit of oil on it. It's going to rain tomorrow anyway. All right. It looks like brand new again. I love it. Except for the fact of the brake calipers and all that, I haven't done anything there. I don't like touching them. Alright, but overall she's ready for another pouring rain event. There's my little blower. When you use a blower or an air compressor, don't blow it all in your bearings. Don't blow it right up close to your, your mechanisms. Because what happens is it actually blows water in. Blow it sideways or a little bit back, a little bit of silicon spray in there just to protect them I'll put a little bit in the key there um, there she is ready to rock and roll what a beast boy it handles well in the wet I'll see if I can get a little bit of footage cheers